This is Dapu 7 with an earthquake update. Taking a look here at the Pacific Northwest of the United States. As you can see here, here off of the BC coast, the Washington coast, we can see we have a 5.4 that was fairly shallow. This is an area I've been watching for some time because I've been waiting to see if there would be a big energy release in terms of an earthquake or if it would just be a mid-range like we're seeing here. This is actually what I like to see. I like to see decent activity where energy is released and therefore it can calm down and go quiet and we have no issues. Now when these areas go extremely quiet for long periods of time, this is where all that energy builds up and then finally releases like we had just witnessed up here in Alaska. That earthquake doing a lot of damage between a 6 and 7 magnitude up here in this range. Before that, we had some odd swarming ongoing in northern Alaska. Since this big quake, it has completely stopped. It's one thing I've noticed here. So, if we see a bigger quake pattern erupt from up here, I would not be surprised. Or along the stretch here. As we've seen in the past, we've seen some weird stuff as well where... We'll start to hit all the way down through here, getting out here near the volcanoes. But, you know, that quake rocking all of Anchorage and all around Mount Denali there, the base of it, very interesting area that we've talked about in the past as well with Harp and other locations associated with that area. But in terms of tsunamis, nothing coming off of this set of earthquakes. It looks like California fairly quiet. Southern California, the swarming, very minimal. Normally when we start to see this, this produces a decent mid-sized quake in the area. Now, that's something we're used to seeing in Southern California. And when we look up here near Yellowstone, some slight activity in Montana. I've done some recent videos on this area and others in terms of volcanic activity. And we can see some activity down here in Tennessee. In terms of the United States, I'm back out here real quick. Recent activity that we had witnessed out here in, v in Fiji, Vanuatu. We still have just some medium-sized earthquakes popping off. We had also witnessed one in Chile after the big one hit over there. We're seeing same thing here. Medium release of energy. And the islands, this whole region, has gone extremely quiet. This is something... I'll continue to keep an eye on this whole area. You have a plate that runs up through here, up toward the direction of Mexico City around Guatemala, Ecuador. And then you have this whole region from Jamaica, Haiti, all through here that likes to, to pop off some decent quakes as well. But anytime it goes silent, that catches my attention. We have no activity on the ridge line from Iceland all the way down this ridge to the South Sandwich Islands. Normally, when we start to see activity, it correlates all the way down through there. We'll keep an eye on that. And taking a look here at the other side of the ring of fire here real quick, we can see some decent mid-level quake activity. This is the normal range that we want to see here around the ring of fire with not a lot of activity around that spot in Indonesia we were watching with that volcano that could possibly erupt, but... That is a look at the most recent activity here. I will leave a link and I will continue to update if we see any more. This has been Dabu7 with an earthquake update. Much love, y'all.